just beneath the bustling streets of Las Vegas, vast fossil beds hold precious secrets from the prehistoric past. The last visible fragment of the valley's ancient landscape can be found here at Ice Age Fossils State Park within an area known as Thule Springs. It is home to the largest collection of Pleistocene fossils in the Southwest. Here at Ice Age Fossil State Park, we're less than 20 minutes away from the Las Vegas Strip, and we can walk down into these man-made trenches and we can escape back in time. Trench K is the longest of the trenches that were cut by scientists. There's individual layers of sediment, so gravels, muds, uh, different layers like that, tell us different aspects about what the environment in this place was through time. In the late Pleistocene, Thule Springs was a lush marshland, home to a collection of large mammals known as megafauna. Predators like American lions and dire wolves, and plant eaters such as mammoths and prehistoric camels. These ancient animals roamed the land for thousands of years. Then, about 12,000 years ago, they all went extinct. Scientists keep coming back to these trenches even today to ask new questions of these old rocks, including whether or not early North Americans had a hand, if any, in the extinction of Ice Age animals. It's not just a story about the Ice Age animals, it's also a story of science, and the history of science and the advancement of science and how we ask questions. In 1962, bulldozers rumbled onto the land to start a four-month-long operation called the Thule Springs Expedition, later known as the Big Dig. The project's goal was clear, to unearth and carbon date evidence that humans lived here at the same time as the extinct Ice Age megafauna. They wanted to find an intimate hunter-prey relationship between human hunters and the Ice Age megafauna. Researchers had been interested in the area since the discovery of what looked like a human-made artifact near the bones of extinct megafauna in 1933. But it wasn't until the 50s when renowned archaeologist Mark Raymond Harrington found what looked like old campfires and tools next to Ice Age camel bones that the attention of the scientific world pivoted to Thule Springs. Early radiocarbon dating revealed Harrington's finds to be more than 23,000 years old. That's twice as old as previously accepted dates of a human presence in the Americas, a startling result. So when radiocarbon dating methods were refined around 1960, Harrington and his colleagues were eager to confirm their original findings. This was the beginning of the study of the migration of humans into North America, and it was very exciting for the participants to think that they might be the ones who could document that humans were here thousands of years before anybody else thought that they were here. It was clear that Tule Springs was going to be a very important site. And so when I was offered this chance to be the geologist there, I jumped at it. Vance Haynes's idea was to cut trenches across the wash that allowed the researchers to study the stratigraphy, the sequence of layers in the trenches, and put together a story of how the rocks were deposited in the Thule Springs area. The project was on a scale archaeology had never seen, with crews working through sweltering days, freezing nights, and violent storms. Altogether, the bulldozers dug two miles of trenches, up to 12 feet wide and 30 feet deep. Once they were dug, the scientists went to work. The team that worked on the Tule Springs project in the early 60s were almost all young people. It was 
quite unusual to have paleontologists and geologists and pollen specialists and so on all studying together. And there was a real strong sense of collaboration. When they would excavate samples, they would immediately send them to UCLA. They had virtually real-time dating of the deposits that they were digging through. And that was the first time that that had ever been done anywhere in the world. But the results were disappointing. It seemed Harrington's earlier dates had been far off the mark. The artifacts they found were 13,000 years old at the most, right in line with other North American sites. What they didn't find was evidence that these humans were, were actually hunting or had any kind of intimate relationship with the megafauna. Soon, nearly everyone had moved on. But the story of Thule Springs was far from over. We now know from abundant other sites that humans were, in fact, in North America before the extinction of the Ice Age megafauna. But Thule Springs has re-emerged as a really important scientific site to address other questions. Sometimes when we make wrong turns in science, we inadvertently get to the heart of a question that we weren't even asking in the first place. The trenches lay silent for nearly four decades until scientists from the San Bernardino County Museum ventured into them once more. The Big Dig was focused on the artifacts and whether or not they were with the animals. Fossils were discovered, but that was not a focus of the Big Dig. In the early 2000s, we had the opportunity to do some paleontology in the Thule Springs area. We found roughly 10,000 fossils. Researchers study these and other recent fossil finds here at the Nevada Science Center. Sometimes when you're doing work out in the field, you come across something that's really spectacular, like the seven and a half foot long mammoth tusk. Other important fossils are much smaller, like this dire wolf knuckle, the first evidence of the species to be found in Nevada. It was clear this fossil-rich land had to be preserved before urban expansion covered it forever. The community came together to protect Thule Springs, partnering with scientists, museums, and state and federal agencies. This land is now permanently preserved for the public. It's an extremely important resource for scientific research now and in the future. The Las Vegas Valley is home to the most complete record, probably in the world, of desert springs and wetlands from the middle to late Pleistocene, back to 500,000 years. Springs are windows into the health of the Earth. Studying springs in the past and trying to understand the rate at which a vast marshland that filled the entire Las Vegas Valley might have collapsed, that kind of information would be critical for the management of modern spring ecosystems. There's tremendous potential for future research in the Tule Springs area. We still don't know precisely why the megafauna went extinct. My personal view is that Ice Age fauna was already on the ropes because of climate change, and the Ice Age hunters uh, pushed them over the brink. What we learned from the response of species in the Thule Springs deposits in the Ice Age can inform us about how we can minimize the extinction that's going on today. As you set out today at Ice Age Fossils State Park, you'll follow in the footsteps of generations of scientific exploration. What will you discover? <laughs>